Hey everyone, Zeddy here again to the brand new video. I think I just saw you guys a couple hours ago, but there have been some more card reveals, a bunch more by Play Hearthstone, as well as Kibler revealing one hell of a dragon legendary. We'll take a look at that. But uh, before we get into that, again, just a reminder, I know I keep letting you guys know, but we're giving away a regular mini set, a golden mini set. Check out the uh, original mini set announced video. Like it, comment, subscribe to the channel. And you're, you have a chance to win the mini set, whether it be regular or golden out of my pocket and all of that but anyways let's take a look at all the cards all the excitement everything going on power creeps and madness all of that stuff anyways uh we have a new paladin card looks like a three mana one five so high health bad attack but after you cast a spell on this minion it gains plus two attack obviously very good with librams let's go with the divine shield um hit them with one spell this is a, what, a 3-5, three, 3-mana, three 3-5, three that's very good. I just don't know if Paladin wants this or not, but it's good with hand buffs, everything. There's a lot of cheap spells that Paladin likes to play right now, and I could see it slotting into either hand buff Paladin, maybe not Librams, and Librams is rotating anyways, but I could see it being like, yeah, a hand buff kind of card. So I'll give this a three in standard, and in wild, you can actually tutor this out, I believe, with Christology. Christology is one attack, if I remember correctly, so, if you if it works out there, it's great with Christology. So I'll give it a tentative three. Again, you, you buff this up, but although to be actually, you know what? I'll, I'm gonna scrap that. I'll give it a two because the wild decks don't typically run that many buffs. You need a decent amount of spells to hit this. And I feel like mo that's more of a strategy and standard than wild. And I don't see this card making the difference. So abandon the three, we're gonna give that a two in wild. So what else do we have? We have another Paladin card, Battle Vicar, Viker? I don't know, two mana, one, three, battle cry, discover a holy spell. So it's kind of like pander and importer, two mana, one, three, discover a spell at insert in your deck. However, this is more targeted, you get holy spells. So it could be more Librum cards, like a Librum of Wisdom, a Librum of Hope, got like Hand of a Doll. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Is is that good? Uh, probably not really worth running, I don't think. Maybe in like a Highlander deck in Wild, uh, you might consider it. Again, it's Christology based, it's one attack. You can tutor it out, but overall, this feels more fillerish to me. Uh, it's a good arena card for sure. I just don't know if you play it on ladder, but almost every Discover card sees play at some point. So I'm gonna give this a three in standard just because like, like every almost every discover card sees play at some point and i don't think it's bad i don't think it's great but i think it'll slot in somewhere and in wild i'll give it a two because i mean it's wild do you, do you, there's a lot of a lot worse holy spells to be found in that format and uh this is really cool we have some quest rogue support people have been clamoring for a new si card to put in quest rogue one of the only quest decks that people don't seem to hate and uh this is si7 smuggler it's a three mana one three so terrible stats but it has the battle cry of summon a random minion with costs equal to the amount of si7 cards you've played this game so if you played three SI7 cards, you play this, you get a random three drop. You play 10 of them, you get a random 10 drop. You could get Deathwing. And I don't know if this equal, like this factors itself in, like when you play it, what typically when you play a minion, the battle cry goes after, I think. I'm not exactly sure if it'll count itself. I'm, I'm very curious if you play this, do you get a wisp or do you get a one drop? I, I don't know particularly for sure but this will see play like mainly in quest rogue this is a quest rogue card 100 percent um you know you can shadow step it and get some more minions on the board uh, there's all that stu uh, stuff going on and they're just need more si cards like the one of the big things about the deck is it doesn't have a lot of good si cards and i feel like this gives you board presence it's an si card that's all that really matters so I'm gonna give this uh, a four in standard for Quest Rogue only though. Uh, it kind of got that asterisk to it. And in wild, I'll give it a two. Quest Rogue has definitely not been a thing other than, well, Caverns Below see some play here and there since it got reverted, but uh, not not the newest quest. Uh, does, doesn't make the cut in wild. Uh, next, we have another rogue spell, Smokescreen, eight mana spell. Draw five cards, trigger any death rattles drawn. So you have Secret Passage, which is one mana draw four effectively. Yes, you, you have to play the cards, you don't keep them. Or you have eight mana draw five and hope to hit some death rattles and hope for them to be good enough to warrant it. You can do some shenanigans. You can play like the objective that doubles death rattles and play Polk out and get humongous owls or scrapyard colossuses or whatever. 
but I just like why is Rogue, Rogue is never doing this? It, this is a uh, this is even too slow for Dane and his memes in Wild. Although I'm sure he'll do it. He always does it with the Death Rattle Rogue stuff. And uh, yeah, this is gonna get a one for being standard and Wild. It's eight mana draw five when Rogue has like just unlimitedly better things to do than this. I just I can't see it. But the memes are solid and it, it's a pretty spectacular looking card. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be any good. Uh, we have Spirit Mount. This looks like a Shaman spell. Two mana. Give a minion plus one, plus two. And spell damage plus one. When it dies, summon a Spirit Raptor. So I guess, yeah, it's another mount card. So that that Raptor should have one one attack two health and spell damage plus one so it's two layers of spell damage and one thing that shaman's kind of sucked with since spell damage totem went away is lack of spell damage and spirit mount kind of goes there maybe you play this in like that burn shaman that's going around lately but they don't really care about fighting for board like this has some weird anti-synergies of like you're buffing a minion and it's somewhat sticky right it gets a death rattle kind of but I don't know what this fits into. I really have no idea what this fits into. Maybe an even shaman in wild. I just, I don't know what this goes into. I, that, that's my big problem with it. I think it's okay, but spell damage outside of like immediate effects uh, is just not really worth it. And I just, I don't know. I, I'm not sold on this card at all in standard or wild. I'm gonna give it a two across the board. I don't think it's terrible. I just, again, I feel like they have better spell damage options. And it's just kind of a weird sticky body that they don't care about in that type of an archetype. Uh, we have Bracing Cold, another Shaman spell. Two mana Frost spell, so it works with your uh, Baron Glacier, getting more of those three fours. And two mana Restore five health to your hero. So not very good, right? Like it's some healing, but you reduce the cost of a random spell your hand by two. And that stays. It's not this turn. It stays. So um, one of the issues that Free Shaman right now can have in Standard is it doesn't have a lot of healing. And this is healing. It's a mana cheat for later. You can combo it up. Like you could play this on two and hit like the um, caverns, the uh, Wild Paw Caverns, right? And uh, cheat that out on turn three or lightning bloom it out or whatever. Like there's there's certain things you can do. Um, I think this card will see play. It, it's healing, it's um, it's mana cheat, it, it's a frost spell. I think you'll see playing standard. I'll give it a three. In wild, probably not. The, those lists are way too tight. Don't want to run cards like that. I'll run two, I'll call, give it a two, but uh, definitely not bad. The, the worst part is the heal part, but frost and mana cheat can be pretty darn effective. Uh, we have a new Warlock spell here, Infestation, six mana fell spell, so you can cheat it out with some of those, I think there's like a taunt that could cheat out an expensive fell spell, which this would be okay with. Uh, you summon a 3-3 Dread Imp to attack each enemy minion. So this can help you get your achievements done of summoning imps. Um, hopefully it doesn't get bugged. And uh, yeah, so you get three threes and they attack into other minions. It might value trade they might die and do very little very situational warlock doesn't really lack good aoe and clears i mean this could just be a good board sweep if it's a bunch of tokens you get a bunch of imps on the board but i don't know this one's hard to evaluate i i, I feel like if the meta is right for it it could be really good if there's a lot of little tokens on the board and you play this and all of a sudden you kill their board and you have a board of imps that's pretty solid and there's ways to cheat it out and copy this it's probably not going to see play right away, but I'm going to give it a three. I think it's not as bad as I initially see it, but it probably is. It probably is. And in Wild, you have Plague of Flames to file and all these broken cards. You're not playing this in Wild. I'll give it a two there. And what else do we got? What else do we got? I, there's so many cards today. Uh, Curse of Agony. Oh, no. Is this Demon Seed support? One mana Shadow Spell. So you can get another copy of this with Tamsin. Uh, shuffle three agonies into the opponent's deck. They deal fatigue damage when drawn. So I guess when they draw it, it'll start their fatigue off at one, then two, and then three. So this is like one mana deal six. I would imagine that's how it would work. Uh, they, of course, they have to draw the agony. And there's not really a great way of uh, force drawing your opponent right now. And you can just kill them with the fatigue of your demon seed. You don't care about this. Um, maybe in a mill deck and wild with cold lights and ridiculous shenanigans, but yeah, I feel like this would almost be a better card for Warlock if it put the cards into your deck and you drew it to act to activate your, your own quest, right? I feel like this card would be better if the damage was done to you rather than your opponent. And I assume it works like a rote where if you have spell damage on the board, 
it'll make your opponent do extra damage, but I don't see this being a Garrote card. You can't really manipulate force drawing so well that I can think of outside of like the uh, pirate that can draw a card or discover a card in your opponent's deck. I'm going to give this a, a, a two in standard, a one in wild, but um, weird card. Again, I feel I just feel like it would be better if it was in your own deck just for the demon seed. I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it's not. Uh, next, we have a warrior spell. Hit it very hard. One mana gain plus attack and can't uh, can't attack heroes this turn. So this can't go face unless you're in wild and attach this to like an ogre war mall or uh, mayor noggin foggers on the board. Oh, hi, Mark, by the way. Um, so this could be a really fun combo card in wild in standard you can like attach it to that uh one spell burst weapon that can like you can hit for like 14 across three targets i don't know what you're doing with this card i really don't silas ashton i guess you could do something like that and kill your opponent with it but yeah i don't know crazy card super weird it's one mana 10 attack it just can't go face um i think it's his place somewhere it's gotta be right it's such a weird crazy bizarre card it's so much attack it's got a c play right i'll give it a three optimistic three in standard optimistic three in wild and this will show up later in uh how did i get this so wrong video because there's no way that's c play right uh warrior tradable spell so we got a new tradable spell one mana give a minion a rush and plus two plus one decent stats give anything rush is good um rush warriors really falling off i don't know what you're really slotting this into other than that maybe a big warrior where it's just cheap uh rush into a big minion that could be good it's just a solid card almost every tradable card has seen play to an extent it's cheap flexible can do good stuff i'll give it a three in standard and uh i'll give it a three in wild because maybe odd warrior uses i don't know is odd warrior even a deck anymore does that even count and uh let's check in with kibler's a card to end off the review so shout out to Kibler. He has revealed what the hell is this dragon? Seriously, this is one of the craziest things I have ever seen. We have Kazakasan, an eight mana neutral dragon legendary battle cry. If all minions in your deck are dragons, craft a custom deck of treasures. And you're wondering, what are these treasures? Well, check out Kibler's video for more details, but they are basically the duels treasures. They are these treasures that you can get in duels. If you've played any duels, it can be a myriad of canopic jars, ancient reflections. You can get a board of Anoyatrons, a banana split, a book of the dead. Oh, it's just ridiculous. I don't know how this card will be remotely playable in today's Hearthstone. An eight mana card, fill your deck of cards. Like I've played a lot of duels lately and I know that a lot of these cards are clunky, not very good and can be weird. But I mean, you go looming presence into a bunch of stuff. It can be crazy, but I don't know. This card is, is really rad. It's really interesting, but Let's be real, you have to have only dragon minions. You need to get yourself some draw on that deck that will work to draw your custom deck of treasures. And I think people will love this card. I think it's really awesome. I just have no idea if this is gonna be competitively viable in any form at all, but it is a very cool card. I will give it an optimistic three in standard, two in wild, cause like eight mana, build a deck, come on. But it's really interesting and i'd love to hear you guys' take on are you excited for kazakasan and the way the treasures are and the duels treasures are cool they really are um there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with them and canopic jars to get a bunch of legendaries and i like the costs of some of these are a bit cheaper than they are in uh in duels or the sats are a bit more like uh bubba is a six six i believe in duels he's an eight eight here they've made them a little bit more powerful some of them are the same some of them are different but yeah, I, I just, I can't, it's eight mana do nothing in Hearthstone these days. How how can you get away with that? I hope you will be able to, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Really cool card. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.